CBS Sports presents the Sprint Halftime Report. Sprint, proud sponsor and avid fans of the NFL. All right, folks, welcome back to our New York studios and the Sprint Halftime Report. I'm James Brown, along with my guys, Dan, Bill, and Boomer. The score at the halftime, 13-7 Cleveland. You know what? Is this a game for purists or what? Boomer, I don't know, that but no. warning, some people might be offended by what they are about to see in regards to the Raven offense. My goodness. Here's the first intercept with the interception by Good. Sean Jones. How about this? They've been sacked three times, three turnovers, seven total yards up to uh, right there towards the end of the half. Jamal Lewis goes in, but then, you know, Ray Lewis is so angry seven yep. total yards that he's going to have seven. to do it all himself. And he decides to take an interception return for a touchdown, 35 yards. And I'm sure there's going to be a little few words there at halftime between Brian Billick and his defensive mates. Damn. And Adam Vinatieri, he missed two last week. Well, he missed this one, too, for 49 yards. That's three misses in a row. Now he gets another opportunity, 38 yards. That's left. 30 he missed that. 38 yards. He Four in a row. And the Pey and Peyton Manning in this offense have been struggling. Jared Allen tips this in the air. It's intercepted. He was only 6 for 16, 58 yards so far in the first half. And then Vinatieri kicks a field goal, 27-yarder. Joseph Adai only had 23 yards so far in the first half, rushing, or 42 yards now rushing in the first half. Oh, well, fourth and goal early in this football game. Jack Dorio says we're going for it. Maurice Jones-Drew will go into the end zone for an early 10 to nothing lead. And David Gerard is going to find Reggie Williams in the back right here on the skinny 36 yards. 17-3 halftime, but early in the third quarter, Ladanian Tomlinson gets San Diego back on the scoreboard. It's now a 17-10 game. This will be a good football game, guys. I love you guys describing that with a skinny post. Huh? All right, coach. Uh, Dante Culpepper, watch this. This is real deep. <laughs> and Ronald Curry, watch this catch right here. Up between two defenders, Woo! comes down to it, and leads him to a touchdown. And coming back, Chester Taylor at 85 yards in the first half. He's going to score in this 38-yard run. 291 yards at half in Minnesota, but they turned it over four times. Nine points by Oakland. It's a 19-19 game now starting the third quarter. All right, Dolphins and, and Eagles. Dolphins and McNabb, time to throw, all day to throw. But when you have this time, you can't throw an interception. McNabb gets picked off by Jason Allen and Ted Ginn Jr. That's why they brought him in here, to make big plays in Miami. He goes outside by the kicker. He's too fast for everybody. He goes 87 yards for a touchdown. That's tying a franchise record for punt return. And there comes Donovan McNabb. Joey Porter up the middle on the game. He throws it up, gets intercepted the second time by Jason Allen. And then McNabb scrambling, gets hit by Michael Lehan, goes into the locker room for x-rays on his right ankle. And he's back on the sideline. That was negative. And then Buckhalter goes in for a touchdown there, an eight-yard run putting Philly up 10-7. All right, as we move along, Boomer, Giants, Lions. Well, we were talking about this all day long as Brandon Jacobs. Watch this run, guys, 18 Woo! yards. Oh, Bang! No, Bang. no, this is going to lead to a field goal for the Giants, 3-0 at that point. Then, Michael Strahan. Strahan, the defensive line have been all over John Kitten in the first half today. And then Eli Manning, right before the end of the half, Hit orchestrates low, a two-minute left. Hit, Hit him low is right. And Brandon Jacobs goes in. 10-0 Giants as they start the third quarter. Wow, and the Lions are 4-0 at home this year. Panthers pack Dan. Well, John Case is going to kick a field goal, but then he decided to pooch kick. What, what happens? You got all these linemen. Look oh, at them jaws. No, no. no. Think out of bounds. Now, hey, we got to tackle this guy. Whoa. No, you know what? Good. They're not going to tackle him. And he runs into his old man, Dan. Yeah. The kicker totally missed him. He goes. Oh, here's oh, the man. kicker. He don't want him. He, 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 he don't want him. He don't want Tremont Williams, 94 yards for a touchdown. Brett Favre, he's doing what he does best. Touchdown to Greg Jennings. And then down the middle, man coverage underneath. Where are the safeties? They're already in the end zone. That's where Donald Lee ends up in the end zone. 26-yard touchdown. Green Bay, 21-3. Packers looking to go 9-1, which will be their best mark since 1962. Coach Cowher made a list. We've checked it twice, and we never saw Jeff Garcia's name on it. <laughs> it was right here, he throws a touchdown fist uh, pass to Joey Gowan. Sorry about that. But how about Brian Leffert? Why is he playing? I don't know. Joey Harrington just won two games in a row with the Falcons, but Monday Barber picks it up. 41-yard fumble recovery for a touchdown. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers all over the Atlanta Falcons. You didn't like that list, Boomer? No, I didn't. Those Other scores, JB. Saints trailing the Texans 17-10. Matt Shaw glad to have Andre Johnson back in the fold as the Texans lead at the half. And the Bengals are trailing the Cardinals 28-13. Wow. Arizona, 14 points off of two Cincinnati turnovers. And Joseph Adai just scored for the coach 
whose offense in the first half was indeed anemic. Coach are leading it now by a touchdown. You nor Dan like coach's quarterback list? That's that? okay. It was Players, a long list. Long list. Coach's coach second that half after this. No <laughs> coaches <laughs> make lists. CBS Sports presents the Sprint Halftime Report. Sprint, proud sponsor and avid fans.